Hello everybody, welcome back to Yunus Tips. Thank you so much for joining me again. Previously, I showed you some of my individual chocolate decorations. They were all flat, so either I used uh, two cellophane sheets, uh, just press the chocolates in between, I have discs. Uh, also, I spread around the chocolate on a tray on a piece of uh, a cellophane sheet like that, and we wait till the chocolate gets set and then we cut the pieces. They were all flat pieces. So uh, I was just gonna go back to the same issue that if those pieces are flat, but strong enough, you can pocket inside the desserts or inside the cake slices. If it's uh, too thin and flimsy, you can place them on the items also. So this time we're going to do exactly same purpose, uh, more chocolate decorations uh, for cake slices and desserts, but I'm going to pipe them this time. Uh, we can be with that way a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more personalized, a little bit more custom-made items we can do. So uh, I like to show you as much as possible and also show you how to design your own decorations. So please prepare those things that I have on the table, also yourself, so you can follow me. You have some trays, uh, either like, uh, like that, aluminum tray, or kind of like a, uh, even the corrugated box pieces can be done. Uh, I have some uh, cellophane sheets over here to just uh, pipe on it. At the same time, they are transparent. So if I have any design, I can, I can draw something on the paper and put underneath and I can see it. All right. I have my uh, cones that you have seen me doing it before, a cellophane sheet cones, and I, I have my compound chocolate is ready. We're going to condition the chocolate a little bit with water, a little bit more thickening uh, necessary. So I have also sticky tape to um, secure the end bit of that. So let's start from something very, very simple and we go uh, gradually something more complicated later on. First design I'd like to present to you, uh, chocolate lattice. So, no matter how simple are those items, I want you to start from a piece of paper and then do it with a pencil and pen first, all right? So why I do that? Because you have to imagine there is still a decision to be done, like a, the cake slice, for example. A cake slice is, let's say, about that size, all right? That size. And then if you have a, a, some sort of individual desserts, it will be about this size. So if I do it like about something about that size, I can always like lift it up a little bit with a cream so it will be nice and sort of like a OBS that you can see and also large enough to make it beautiful, all right? So I like to pipe this in a kind of situation that uh, my, my board is in the middle in front of me, my arm comes like this 45 degrees, I'm gonna do it like this the most comfortable way. If I do it like that or like that, it's not gonna be easy, all right? So that's why I'm gonna do it like a 45 degree angle about this size. So this is all my decisions, all right? So what I like to do, I'm gonna do like that. Stay square, all right? And after that, I'm gonna turn the tray around and then do it this way. So my lettuce will be done in this way, all right? Good, let's start. So I'm gonna put this underneath here. I may not be using that continuously, like uh, relocating the piece. I'm just going to keep one here. So I'm going to do some here and some there and some there. That's it. Maybe about four lines. All right. So this chocolate is a bit too liquid. So what I like to do, I'm going to squirt some water inside. Just a few, few spray. Turn this chocolate a little bit cream. As I mentioned before, you're putting water in chocolate, it's completely out of other sort of like a, a norm. So there's, there's rules and regulations how to handle with chocolate. Do not mix water inside chocolate because it will seize the chocolate. But I'm not putting that much. I'm just cutting a little bit to make the chocolate a little bit creamier, a little bit more sort of like a firmer that when I pipe things, it stays in the, in the shape. All right, that's it. You can also put, of course, alcohol. Okay, that should be good now. All right, make a nice decent size cone, not so flimsy small, all right? 
So I always like what I do is about the front side about the half or maybe a little bit more and then I have enough uh, left to secure. Of course it's important how big to cut, how thick to cut. All right. So I'm going to cut a little bit larger so I'm going to do a little bit more faster. I mean. So let's start. Make sure that things are not in your way. All right. Finish. Continue here. So as I said, if I like try to do this, it will be quite uh, not so comfortable. I turn this way like that and then just carry on the same thing again over here. See how comfortable is that? So one decent size cone was good enough. Uh, you don't have to carry on this one with some ended design. Just screw it back again inside and then you can make a fresh one for the new design. So that was a simple lattice work to use for desserts or for cake slices. So we'll just put it aside and start with another design which I'm going to make a simple leaf. I'm sure you realize that when I was piping those uh, lattice work uh, I'm not going to really sort of like a pipe stop pipe stop. It just continues piping for the one side and I stop once only turn around and then do the uh, second uh, part. So it's only one lift. With this one, uh, there will be no lift. There's only one time piping for the whole lid. So I'm gonna use again pencil just to draw a leaf. It will be something something about this size. And then just go about uh, like that. So let's draw this one now. Uh, I'm going to do uh, something like that. And go again, like that. So one, one lift, okay? Let's do one lift like this. And then another lift. So that will be um, uh, one time, and after that two times, and then three times, all right? So what I'm saying is like, you can also do it, of course, without uh, stopping, continue, but it will be, for a comfort, you can just do some poses and then change your position again, all right? So let's go. This is one. Oh, okay. What I did, one and two. So only one lift again. So I'm going to not change the paper. I'm just going to continue. So lattices just came back from the fridge. I put them just a minute in the fridge. So it comes out very nicely. It is quite strong because I choose the right thickness. So it is not going to be too fragile. All right, the leaves the same. I'm going to put them back in the fridge for about uh, a minute. After that, I'm going to start with my third design, which will be the wings. Okay, I like to do something like this. I want to start, uh, start piping from here. Go like this and then go like that. Go like that, and like that, and like that. Something like this. So it's good to have pencil marking first, and after that you can just sort of like a, make your decision. All right. So uh, what I want to do is the pencil give me the right direction already. I can make a one final sort of design. Something like that. All right. That's nice. But this time I'm going to change the location. Right. Relocate the, the template so I can do it quite equal. All right. All right. Cut this uh, thing. It's a nice size. All right. Let's go. This time no two step. It's only one step. Okay, I'd like to explain you why I did that. You see that 
if I have a something, a small little template, I have to put my hands all the way in and when I lift up this cellar furniture, it will disturb that. Just why I make it long so I can just touching over here and then move around very easily without disturbing. All right. All right, let's go. That's it. Oops. See, when I lift up too much, I'm moving that chalk that it will sort of like a disturb that, that shape. All right. So I'm going to go four lines. That's it. I'm going to bring this one out to fridge and I'm going to show you my next design, uh, which will be a little bit more vintage. Okay, uh, what I'd like to do, uh, we have this one now, the leaves was two step and then the lattice was two step and then the last one, the wings was only one step. So one continues without stopping piping. So this is will be also one step. So I have a little bit drawing over here, my sort of like little scribble here. I'm going to follow this one again. So this starts, so when the, when the cake slice something like that, so let's say a cake slice like that, which could be the same size for the desserts, all right? So I like to make it something, something starting like that, and then continue like this, all right? So starting from here, turning like this, and turning like this, going back, and then ending up like that, all right? That's it. I want to do that. And let's do it. You know what? I just want to take my wings out of the fridge because it should not be stay too long. That's it. They're just so beautiful. All right. Good. Let's go. Let's cut. Don't make it too thin, otherwise it will be too fragile. All right. Okay, starting from here. That's one. Need to make a little bit thicker. You know, thinner is nice, but there's no point to make it too fragile. It will break before you before you placing on the on the cake. That's it. Now I want you to look at something here. Um, I have five here, five here, four here. Doesn't matter. Doesn't enough space over here. So uh, when I'm designing that, uh, you see that last one, this one touching together here. It should be all of them actually touching, but. Uh, that is good because it's touching this extra strength, all right, but these are not. So I'm just going to put one dot here in between to connect that, that little spot, okay? So when you, this is okay. Because when you're lifting up, it may just, uh, uh, it just break probably from here, all right? So it's just already wrong design. So I'm going to make another template. I'll share with you that particular template so we don't have to do this, all those dots, all right? So this goes in the fridge now. The next thing I'd like to show you is uh, something more uh, custom made. Like uh, if, if you have a request that people asking you some, uh, uh, their initials, like two, two initials, for example, together. So I'd like to show you how to design that very simply. Okay, I make a new drawing for you. All the lines are connected properly. That's overlapping a bit, but it doesn't matter. It just have a like a touch and go here. All right, uh, so I also take it out from the fridge, that uh, S-shape. It is, works just beautifully. So as you see that this line is connecting each other. So this, this shape is very nice. You can just put it like uh, upwards and sideways, or you can put on the, on the cake slices, like turning around like that, because of the triangular shape, it just matches beautifully. All right, good. Now let's get a little bit more complicated now. So I want you to imagine that your friend or, or your customer, so somebody asking, uh, from you to do some cake decorating uh, for a personal sort of like a custom made sort of design. So basically like when talking about the initials, like uh, uh, cake slices or a, uh, let's say cupcake or kind of like a little uh, des desserts or something. And they're almost the same size as I, as I explained before. So let's say the cupcakes about about this size. So I like to give you about three different design. So about this size. All right. This could be sitting on the cake or on the dessert or whatever you like to do. So 
basically when we do two um, two initials uh, when I'm designing I'm not going to worry about too much which lines touching to other line and is it going to be strong or not not strong or that kind of problems can be avoided if I use two layers so one layer at the bottom so it's connecting all those lines together so I like to make it very very thin and then like it just like it's a sort of daisy shape is like this right like that I can also do it like maybe with the normal marker pen so you can have that same copy like that and like that okay now on top of this I like to give you a three different example uh, one of them is like a M and K so M will be look like this and then K will be just attached to the side here I'm not gonna make another line uh, to to make it too crowded I just use the one side of the M as a as a straight part of the K it will be like a one item all right so that's what I mean M and then K it just connect to this side so M and K right? the other one is like the uh, uh, A and B so that will be A and then B just goes again on the side here like that Okay, and B and the other one will be S and J or T S and T so that will be like this S and T or J all right so you got the idea I have the thinner lines at the bottom and after that I will have a thicker lines on top so to make it correct we're gonna pipe the thinner line first and wait for a while that gets set so that whatever you put on top of it it will be much more obvious much more nice and clean I'm gonna make it like one two and three sets here all right so I like to make the chocolate slightly thicker so I add a little bit more water on it because I also add some more chocolate anyway that's it okay now I like to wait just a few minutes till this one get touchable okay they are already touchable I'm just going to continue doing this M and K first so I cut my cone larger that's M and the K like this all right so uh, I like to wait first that is the all those things get set and if I need to I'm gonna pipe maybe on top of it one more time all right so this is A and B and then S and J all right let's go okay they are nice and set I'm gonna go one more time over it all right so this time I don't need to uh, template because I can see it already uh, where I wrote before I'm just gonna write over it again one more time and just to make that the letters are a bit more obvious so it's done so it's a little bit more obviously you can read the letters uh, what else you can do with that you can make the, the background uh, the pipings a different color maybe just made, maybe milk chocolate and then also uh, when you do the the top letter darker chocolate it will be much more obvious and then also what you can do is after this all those finish you can have a, a bit of oily silver uh, luster and you can just touch to the metallic color and then touch with the fingertip only just the upper layers and you don't touch the, the the lower part you will have the letters much more obviously appear 
uh, in kind of a readable condition. So this is this is readable or not. This is not the really question. Uh, it is interesting also when you look at something like it looks like a, something happening there, and when you look at twice, you can see the letters. It will be just like surprising sort of uh, uh, effect in there. All right, that is all. I just did it already all four. So let me clean up, and I have a few more words with you. So here we are. We have a couple of designs for you to use it, uh, but having said that, I'm sure you can create your own designs from that follow-up. You know, all that you have to do, just don't worry about it and then trust yourself and then take your fear away and just go for it. And secondly, that you have to do everything on a piece of paper. Use that paper as a template and then copy it first. And after that few times, you will realize that you can also do it freehand. No problem at all. So, um, if you want to do this kind of things more than necessary and then uh, beforehand, so you, as a preparations, all what you have to do, you find the box first and then cut your cellophane sheets or any other paper. Uh, it's like the size of the box. So you can just take this one as it is, place them in the box over, over and over again, over layering again, so you don't have to do one by one. You can just put everything on top of each other because this paper is protect them in the level. It's not going to break. And then put the box in the cool place. So uh, cool place means like somewhere like coolest place in your room or in your, in your house. And after that, before you use it, before you want to use it, put the box in the fridge for five minutes. Everything becomes like much more harder, crisp. You can handle, you can take it out and push it into the desert. So it will be much more easier if it's cold, right? But if you keep too long in the fridge, what will happen is it will be too cold, it will be condensation, and then the, it will be wet. After that, it turns to sort of ugly whitish color. So that's not gonna be good also. So that is all from me guys today. Thank you so much for having me. God bless you all. Until to my next video, bye for now.